Can you imagine not being able to open your bowels for weeks? It will be a total nightmare. The main reason behind this guys is intestinal obstruction, aka bowel obstruction. And can you also imagine being dead due to the fact that you couldn't take a dump? Sounds weird and absurd to me. But a study conducted in 2015 by disease and injury incidents and prevalence collaborators found 3.2 million cases of intestinal obstruction, among which 264,000 patients died of the condition. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about intestinal obstruction, its causes, types, signs, symptoms that might shock all of you. But before I share it with you, Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting health videos. Now, it's clear that not being able to take a dump for days is a big deal. This leaves us with a big question. What exactly is intestinal obstruction and how does it occur? Intestinal obstruction, also known as bowel obstruction, is a disorder caused due to the blockage of normal flow of intestinal contents disrupting the normal digestion. When anything like tumor or hernias or gallstones get stuck in your small or large intestine, it prevents the passage of fluids and digested food. The stuck food, fluid acids and gas can create enough pressure to rupture your intestine, leaking pathogenic bacteria in your abdominal cavity causing a severe complication. Hence. Intestinal obstruction requires an immediate medical help. Obstruction might occur due to several reasons such as hernias, adhesions, tumor, volvulus, intussusception, Crohn's disease, and other causes might include fecal impaction, gallstones, inflammatory bowel disease, fecaloma, and so on. Large bowel obstruction might occur due to colon atresia, fecaloma, endometriosis, diverticulitis, neoplasms, or cancer. But how do you know you have intestinal obstruction? Some of the common signs and symptoms of intestinal obstruction include vomiting, bloating, constipation, abdominal pain, fecal vomiting, swollen abdomen, and so on. However, the symptoms further depend upon the level and length of bowel involved, the extent to which the obstruction has occurred, how it has affected blood supply, and the type of lesion. The symptoms range from nausea, abdominal cramps, to constipation, hypotension, hypokalemia, hypernatremia, respiratory distress, and inability to pass flatulence, and so on. How is intestinal obstruction diagnosed? The main methods for diagnosis include blood tests, CT scanning, endoscopy, colonoscopy, and x-rays of the abdomen and ultrasound. Under the identification of a mass, biopsy is suggested to identify the nature of the mass. Diagnosis helps to know whether the obstruction is partial or complete. Well guys, it's always better to keep in mind that intestinal obstruction is a treatable disease. To know more about the treatments and the prevention of this disease, follow the link in the description below.